Hey guys, I'm Mario Ray, and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 For The Realm Challenge. So last episode, we had quite a few birthdays. The last few episodes, we've had quite a few birthdays. We had Elia age up into an elder, and then we had Jeremy down here age into a young adult. Oh, look at him talking to his sister. Oh my god, they're both so adorable. I love it. But we had Jeremy age into a young adult, and just seen age into a teenager. I am so happy. Our family is growing up, and I absolutely love it. Look at this stink face. This just like the describes to me the way I feel like they would act like he told some type of stupid joke and she's like oh my god you suck <laughs> because she's in a bad mood this morning first day it's a teenager officially as a full day and she woke up in a rebellious attitude just like having mood swings it just it totally resonates I feel like with her she's our diva uh, perfectionist social butterfly and I I love it okay I love it she's she is definitely our little socialite princess can't I, I I love it I can't even I can't even and then we have Jeremy our little um wait he had the genius trait where did it go <laughs> where is his trait you guys you guys remember that he became a genius right like, that was the, the random trait that we rolled. Is that why this never went away? Like, he was a G... Okay, hold on. Let me fix Jeremy, guys. Okay, I fixed him now. I don't know what that was all about. We we all saw him roll the genius trait uh, last episode when he aged up. I didn't notice that he didn't get his trait. Like, she got diva. Like, she rolled... He didn't get genius though, but that was the first thing I landed on when I rolled it. So he got his trait now and I think Mal fulfilled that wish. No wonder that didn't go away because I was wondering why it didn't clear when he rolled the genius trait. I'm like, isn't he a genius now? That's really weird, but it rolled. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh my God. He's like, hmm, my sister hates me. <laughs> He's like embarrassing her and she's like, oh, you suck. Oh my God. I love it. I, I love it. Okay. I didn't know why he wasn't a genius. Glad I checked that. I have no idea, but this episode is kind of a special episode because I have placed a new family. That's why we are down to $25,000. So we have we have taken a hit in our money. We went from 58,000 something, I think from the end of last episode to about uh, 25,000. And that is for a good reason because we've placed a new family in the world, which we have to go visit. Uh, we will go and see them uh, today. We have to, it's 8 a.m. So we'll, we're gonna go ahead and make sure everybody's good, which they are pretty much. Uh, and, could probably grab himself some quick breakfast or something but they're they're pretty decent right now everybody else just got through eating uh why don't you just come eat a cookie uh he's tending to the garden she's outside taking care of some of the horses so i think we're kind of good there but i think that we're gonna definitely have to go visit this new family you guys know whenever there's a new family that i place we have to go visit them i definitely have been trying to push a little bit more for some more family members and not family members, but more families to come up because you know, our family is growing up and Crunk, oh my God, yeah. crunk, no, crunk apparently, but um, it's fine. Nope, nope, don't, don't put it down. I need you to clean it up. Oops, click the wrong thing. Clean it up, there you go. But um, yes, uh, you know, whenever we place new families, we have to do it. Our family's growing up and aging. Oh my God, yes, that is so Justine. I feel it, I love it, I love it. She's like, ah, I am like royal, I love it. Uh, even though they don't go by king and queen just yet, they're still like lords of the land for now. But um, eventually we'll probably expand into actually, you know, wearing crowns and being a king. But as of right now, they're still pretty small in terms of what it are. So they're just sort of like lords and ladies of the land for now. Justine would love to be called the princess, though. She would friggin' love it if I've ever seen it. But um, we're gonna get our day going, though, and we're gonna go visit our brand new family. Hopefully they'll be at home. If not, they'll likely be at the park. It's one of the only places that they can actually go visit. So um, I'm gonna make sure everybody's good, which looks like they are, and uh, we're gonna go visit our new friends. All right, guys, as I thought, our little group of friends are not at home because they normally aren't, but they are at the park, which is one of the places where everybody goes to gather. So this right here is our new family. Literally all of them are here. And this is the family that we had so much fun making on stream. And they actually based off of the D&D characters that I'm playing with in our campaign that I play with with some buddies at work. So these are all of our characters essentially that we play. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a little thing for each one of them over here. Here we have his name is Glail. He is a dwarf warrior. So his yes, that's his name. His name is Glail. He's our, our, our dwarf warrior. He's crazy. That's all I have to say. <laughs> He's definitely the the sporadic insane one of the group, but he's also our cannon fodder. He's like the meaty 
super hard to hit like extra strong guy over here is duran he is our archer actually so he's our like ranged attacker archer human archer it's um he's pretty much steals things a lot and he gets away with stuff we can't tell that he's done it like he's killed people that we didn't know because he did it in secret so you know that's duran <laughs> Over here we have Serena, who she is our bard, our half-elf bard, and she is our sassy, sassy girl. <laughs> She's the one who, um, if you, we like to call her a battle bard. She likes to, like, kind of run out into danger despite sometimes, you know, getting herself into trouble. And over here we have Oros, who is our half-elf paladin. Um, and yes, he does wear, like, kind of dark armor like that. He and his father is actually the big bad guy of our campaign, which we discovered a little bit later. And over here is Yadaya, who is the character that I invented in her name is Yadaya Merkil, and she is a druid. So she sort of grew up in the forest, a little bit wild, likes plants, you know, kind of quiet, but just mostly likes plants and, and just kind of is a, around as a support and doesn't really say much but she just doesn't understand why she deals with all these people but you know she does they keep her alive so it benefits her and down here we have little cliff who is our gnome wizard and yes he is blue he is blue in our campaign too there is a reason behind it but here we will say he wants to be a wizard because we can't actually have magic users in our world here in ulokia just yet but Cliff has always wanted to be a wizard. He's wanted to study magic. And, and when he was young, he was playing with magic and he turned himself blue accidentally and he can't undo it. So he is permanently blue for now. So he is our little blue gnome wizard guy. Uh, want want to be wizard in this world because there is no magic yet. But if we did have the magic kingdom unlock, I would have totally made him like a, a witch or something. But for now... He's just a wannabe wizard and he turned himself blue accidentally playing with magics that he knew nothing about. And this group of adventurers have moved here to Ulokia once, um, once, um, Thorin over here was finally able to open one of his inns. So he has always been an inn owner. Uh, Thorin has always owned inns and taverns. And so right here is the five star inn which um, Emmerich finally gave him, you know, the rights that he this would have been pissed at Emmerich and Malfoy. He's been arguing with him about this. He's wanted the rights to be able to, um, you know, get access to an inn and be able to open his own. It's not actually his. It is technically just another residential lot. But in the terms of our lore, this is Thorin's first inn where he's unlocked. And these adventurers who have heard all about Ulokia and all of its mysteries have decided that they are going to try their luck here and move here to Ulokia to see what they can get into. And maybe they could do some exploring and find out some interesting stuff. So, of course... Emmerich, hearing that um, they have some newcomers here to Lokia, has to come and introduce himself to everybody who has arrived because he, he always does this. We always do this. We go and give ourselves introductions. So let's just go on over and uh, meet everyone. Uh, I would You know what? Let's go and meet Oros first. He, he's the one in the full-on armor, which just looks crazy. So let's go meet everybody. Let's, why, don't you meet, uh, why don't you meet Serena? Why don't you meet... Uh, Yadaya, we're gonna try to meet everybody. Everybody's gonna try to meet everybody, but you know, there's a lot to go on. Why don't you come meet Cliff? Give him a charming introduction. You come meet Glail. Oh my god, this is so funny. I love this. This is crazy. I appreciate them to take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. So they're gonna go and meet everybody. Oh my god, except for Duran over there who's digging into um are you? Oh, okay. She is trying to meet people. And are you here? No, she walks kind of slow. She's pregnant, guys. You got to cut her some slack. Why don't you come over here and meet Duran, who's like soaked inside of there. Oh my god, this is awesome. I love it. So many new people. I'm hoping that the more we introduce some new people, the like, you know, the easier and the better that a lot of this gets. And uh, the more people we introduce, I have to introduce. Oh my god, he's like instant friends with him. That's wow. Emmerich introduced himself once and is like instant friends. Okay, well, it doesn't look like Jeremy had a very good conversation with uh, Serena there. They look like they had some type of bad. Thing that just happened and then she walked away but I mean he's 
not too bad with her in terms of relationships but he talked to her once and she kind of like walked away from him so that's nice um i guess these two are like apparently instant friends which is kind of funny like they start talking once and they're like instant friends sharing secrets talking to each other it's kind of funny um so I'm going to spend some time trying to get everybody to meet each other, uh, which is going to take a second. And a lot of, all right, now you talk to this person. Now you talk to this person. Now you talk to this person. So give me a second. Uh, I'll come back in just a bit. Let me see how many people I can get each other to, to know. Uh, oh my God. Justine, what are you doing? You're being so, oh my God, Justine, you guys. Oh my God. She's so, she's so aggressive. Oh my God. What had happened? Justine. <laughs> oh no, she hates him. Oh my god, she just she just is making enemies already. Justine, you are going to be a ball of energy. Oh my god. This girl, oh she hates him. Oh my god. She is just like already just like oh gosh, that's hilarious. She is just not having it. Okay. But these guys have been trying to introduce themselves to as many people as we can. A couple of them I think have run off and gone home. I think our bard um a friend has left, so not a lot of people got to meet her. We'll go try to meet her and make sure we talk with her. Uh, next time we come around, but uh, Emmerich is now playing violin, but he has met, who have you not met? He's talked with Cliff, they're good friends now. He's talked with um, Oros and they're good friends now. Um, his sister is apparently about to be an enemy with Oros, <laughs> which is hilarious. You have not met Glail yet, so why don't you come over and give a charming introduction to Glail and Duran? Uh, Jeremy is apparently making faces over here with the druid, which is hilariously funny. They're good friends now. All right, that's cute. Why don't you come and meet Cliff? Have you met Cliff already? Have you talked to Cliff? Oh my god! Oh my god, Justine! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! She got beat up! Oh my god! Oh no, she's uh, he's a hothead and she's already made an enemy. She's like, I can't stand that guy. Oh my god. Talk about a diva if I've ever seen a diva. She's probably gonna be like demanding that he be punished and they're gonna be like, Justine, stop. <laughs> he just got here. Oh my god. She's just like not getting along with anyone. Who have you not talked to yet? Um, because so far, she's not been a fan of any of the people she... You know what? Duran is the only one that she apparently seems to like to talk to because they, they're the only ones she hasn't had a bad interaction with. I think everybody else she's spoken with, she's just, like, had a bad interaction with them. And she just fought... <laughs> oh, my God. This is insane. She just, she can't stand him. Already, she can't stand him. She slapped him and like it just it just spiraled from there. It spiraled from there. Oh my god, this is just Hello. terrible. And yeah, and she's pissed at her. Oh my god, Yvette's gonna scold her for it too. Like I I saw that you started that whole thing. You need to stop it and behave like a lady. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, she's gonna get scolded too. Oh no, she's like in mom mode. She's scolding her about it too. Yvette learned that Justine is a diva. She's scolding her about it too. Like, you're being a brat, Justine. Stop it. Oh my god, I, lo I love it. I love it. Oh man, these personalities are wild. She's scolding her about it too. I love it. She's just like, you are being a brat. You need to stop, okay? Who, what the heck? Who is positively orgasmic? What in the frick frack is... What is going on here? I have had it. Go take a time out. Oh, Justine is in trouble. She's in trouble. Oh, no. He's insane and he's brave and he's, he's crazy. Okay. Yep. Yep. She's in trouble. And you know what? I think that's appropriate because she started that. She's She's been aggravated all day and she's just in a bad mood and she's already a little diva. So she's just like, she started that fight. And Yvette is just like, I'm sick of it. Go home. You're being, you're, 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 you're causing trouble. <laughs> oh my God. Justine is going to be so much fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> you guys, Yvette, she's getting in trouble again. You know what? I think you should go home. She's getting in trouble. Oh my God. She's going to be our little rebel girl. I know it. She's a, like a little bad girl. She's already in trouble with her mom and with Yvette. She's just causing so much trouble. Little Justine, oh my god, she's such a little rebel. 
she's in trouble. She wants to be friends with Yadaya, though. <laughs> Apparently, the druid is, is good friends with a lot of people. Uh, which, I guess, he's just making quick friends with literally everybody. I think she's the only one you haven't met, right? Is Yadaya? Yeah, I don't think he's talked with her yet, so... Give her a charming introduction, too, I guess? And we'll go have to meet the bard, because Serena left, and I don't know where she went. Uh, probably went home, but that's okay. But yes, what an eventful day. Their first day here, and already, um, you know, freaking Justine has become enemies with Oros, or wants to become enemies with Oros. She's fighting with him. Uh, she's like arguing with just about everybody she talked to. She got in trouble twice. Like, Jesus, girl. Oh, no. She's going home now and cleaning up, trying to get back on her parents' good side, I think. The only one she apparently seems to like is the druid. I don't know. I, in all honesty, my the druid's pretty chill. I know because she was my character. She doesn't, she doesn't do a lot of stuff that would make you aggravated necessarily. <laughs> She's eco-friendly, she's socially awkward, and she's a green thumb. Sounds about right for her. Okay, I think that you have successfully actually met everyone now, haven't you? I think she has. Uh, he has. Which is, you know, really important because he's now the leader of Ulokia here. He's taken over for his father. And I think he's, he, yeah, he's met Glail. He's met uh, Duran. They, they don't have last names, by the way, because they didn't, my friends did not give them last names. So I didn't come up with one. They just don't have a last name at this point. Uh, so he's met Cliff. Yeah, he's met everybody except for the bard who ran off, so we'll have to meet her another day. But yeah, check it out. We've got a bunch of new friends. It's awesome. Um, it's so cool. We know a lot of people. Who do you, whose sign do you want to ask? You want to ask for Oros' sign, and I think he left. I think he left. He probably did because he was in fighting with a teenage girl. <laughs> It's kind of hilarious. Oh my gosh, but wowee. All right, so that's our new family. I'm excited to see how things play out with them because wow, they are <laughs> amusing as heck already. Justine too, wow, that personality. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. But um, I think that we can probably head home. Well, it's 3 p.m. And Oh, Mal got invited to a party. Casual attire at 8.13. Yeah, we'll be there. Maybe some of our new friends will be there as well. But for now, I think I'm going to have everybody head home. I think most people have gone home for the day. Uh, no, Jeremy's watching uh, her play some music. Who have you not met, Jeremy? Because you're a little social guy. I need you to work on it. You've met Glail, but you're not friends with him yet. But you're really close with just about everybody. So he's nearly friends with almost everybody here. I think the only one he's friends with is the Druid. <laughs> Wait. Why don't you come chat with Cliff a little bit more to try to see if you can um, give him an amusing greeting. Try to see if you can maybe become closer friends with him. But I think that, why don't you head home too? You guys are going to be going to a party a little bit later. Maybe some of your friends will be there if we're lucky. It'll, you know, it'll be nice to have some of our new friends there. But for now, I'm going to have him head, her head home. Most of them are going to head home, probably work on some other stuff around the house for just a bit. And then we're going to be going to a party a little bit later, so... Oh, the music has been on, hasn't it? It's because I turned my music off again. I was building something a little while ago, and uh, I turned my music off. But so far, it's been wild, guys. Um, but Emmerich's going to go to the bathroom, and I think I want you to work on your book for a little while. He started another book. I think it's a book of poetry. And uh, you, Missy, I kind of want you to work on a little bit of painting, I think. Just because we could use the money boost again. I mean, we're at 24000 so it's not like we're broke. But uh, it'd be nice to get some money back. Okay, guys. Welcome to the party. So, um, it looks like... Who do we have here today? Well, these two making out. We have Adelwolf here. Uh, Madeline is here. Hey, Maddie. And Pierce is here. As, of course, Lucia is here. Oh, is there baby here? Is that one of the babies? Is that Nathaniel? I think it's Nathaniel, but I can't tell. Uh, this looks like Leo going to sleep. All right. Well, there's Leo heading to bed. They're upset about a baby crying. Is the baby here? That's Luna. Luna's lived for like a long time, but you know what? It's, full. it's cool. Um, he's playing the violin now, but where's the baby? I thought they were complaining about a baby crying. I don't even know. The rest of the family should be on their way over. Did did you come to the, the place like I asked? Okay, she's there. She's on her way. 
Justine is... Oh, forgive? Is her dad forgiving her for what she did? For being in trouble? Because she was being oh, terrible. He let, he let her off the yeah. hook. Aww. <laughs> he let her off the hook. I, I imagine that he would be the softy, like... Like they would the the like like Elia would be a lot harsher on her I feel like than her dad would, because he would be a soft spot. This is his only girl. It's his baby girl. Like he would totally let her get away with a whole lot more than what um than what Mal would. And I feel like that that's just the way how it would be. But everybody's here and oh my God, these guys are in there ruhuing, uh, of course. But um, they're just gonna come and enjoy the parties as always, like they used to. Oh, he's playing tag with little um, Alfredo, uh, but everybody's here. No, and it doesn't look like too many people are here. I thought I saw them complaining about a baby crying, which let me know. I thought that that was um, that was either Nathaniel and or um, Desmond. I can't remember which one is which, uh, but you know they're little twins. But apparently I was wrong. I thought they were complaining, but maybe the game teleported the babies back again. Somebody told me about how to focus using the master controller, and you can focus on particular sims here, but I'm not- it's not like it's super important uh, that I see them right now, but I will have to go pay them a visit to go see them. She wants to chat with Emmerich. Of course you can chat with Emmerich. Um, why don't- do you- who do you not know that's here? Like, maybe you should try to get to know some more people. I feel like you've never really talked to Adelwolf before. Not really. Like, you're not super good friends with him. So maybe you should come in here and chat a little bit with him. Let's give him an amusing greeting. Um, though, you should probably talk to your dad, too. I think it's been a while since you've talked to him. <laughs> Elia Reyes has been faithfully committed in a relationship for so long the Sims are calling her eternally faithful. Okay. That's good. Um, alright, let's friendly... Ask him if he's single because we know he's not. He is married. Ask him his sign, I guess. Let's just chat with this guy a little bit. Um, ask him about his career. Um, chat with him a little bit, brighten his day. Let's just try to see how many friends we can get. Uh, he's in a relationship with Sylvie. He's lucky, he's a mooch, he's a green thumb, and he thinks she's hot. Oh yes, Madeline is here. You love Madeline. Here, no, no, don't watch. Give, give her a hug. Yes, you love- it. her and Madeline are like so such good friends. I love it. She's like, hey girl. How's it going? How are you? Ask her about her day. <laughs> I love it. So we're just gonna hang out here for a little while and just uh, chat with some people like we normally do with these parties, but it's getting really late. So they're likely gonna head home and go straight to bed right after this. Um, it's almost like 11 o'clock. So they're probably gonna head home and go to sleep. But um, yeah, what an eventful day. That's all I gotta say. All right, guys, good morning. So yesterday they went about their business at the party. They had some fun. They chatted with some people like they always do at those parties. And this morning they are up eating some breakfast. Elia has made some strawberry pancakes. I'm, I forgot to check and make sure the fruit would not impact the baby and it won't. So some strawberry pancakes and they're all enjoying breakfast together. Justine is taking a bath. You know, she has to look good before she's up in the morning. She wants to go to the park. And I think that's what we're going to be doing today because it is leisure day. So I think that they're just gonna kind of go to the park and hang out with uh, everybody in Ulokia. Just go have some fun. She wants to woohoo with Emmerich. But just go out to the park and, you know, just have some fun uh, together. Just enjoy each other's company again. But I do think I might have Mal go out to see what he can find. Because he is the best that we have at finding supplies and stuff like in the... Um, out in the uh, the query area where we always go pick up relics and stuff. Like Mal is the best in terms of that. And I think that we might have him go out because I had to pay bills this morning, which means that we are down to only $18,000. And me no likey, me want the money in my bank. Please give it to me now. I need to get the money in my bank, you guys. So um, I think that we are basically gonna have him go out. But I think Emmerich needs to work on some paperwork this morning because I want him to work on his writing. So he's gonna have a lot of paperwork that he has to do with with the new people coming in you know he likes to keep track of all this stuff he likes to to write this stuff down keep a census and a log of all the people coming in and out of ulokia why they're here when they came to ulokia stuff like that he's very much our scribe um uh guy he likes to keep track of all that stuff 
did he beat you over here and like nope i'm filling it up i did it ha 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 um but um yes so he very much likes to keep track of all that stuff about who's coming in and out of Bulokia, when and why and all that stuff like that so he's very much the scribe uh of the family and and that's what he likes to do so he's gonna make sure he's starting to work on all of that type of stuff but everybody else can go have a little bit of fun today and it's about 9 a.m so i'm gonna have them head right over there in just a second why don't you help clean up just a little bit though and put away some leftovers but i think i'm gonna have mal head out and go to over to the area where we always find stuff to dig and i might make elia go out too it's been a long time since she's been out riding so i think that maybe we'll have her go for a ride uh too and maybe we can see what she can collect because she used to help out all the time back when they were you know younger and it was like just the two of them so i think that we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of that we're gonna do a little throwback okay and she's gonna go out with them but everybody else i think is gonna hang around the house and go out to the park and go hang around with all the other people of Lokia, making sure that they're uh, getting to know people and just having some fun uh, on this day, which is leisure day, and making sure that they are, um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why can't you put away the leftovers? What's going on? Are you stuck? I'm a little confused. You were in your own way? Okay, game, that's weird. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How are, how are you in your own way, sweetie pie? Like, there's, you, you're just standing there. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, that was weird. That was really weird. Can you put it away now? Okay, guys. So, um, um, Justine and and Jeremy, Jesus Christ, Justine and Jeremy and uh, Yvette have all come out to the park, and they're just sort of chatting it up with our new friends who are now also hanging out at the park. So they're getting to make sure that they're getting to know a lot of them. She apparently is announcing that she's pregnant to him, I think, which is kind of, nope. I think she was telling him a joke. So these guys are just gonna kind of chat it up with everybody here at the park, just starting to get to know each other because why not? It's just a day to make sure we all get to have some fun with each other um chat i guess yes let's chat and everybody is just like she's a brave he's a mooch he's he's kind of crazy and weird hey she's actually getting along with someone look at you justine i'm so proud of you look at you actually getting along with someone it's a new dawn it's a new day guys because she normally never gets along with anyone um jeremy who are you not friends with i think oros why don't you come over and chat with him i don't think you're friends with him yet hey emmerich has completed his book and it looks like he got himself a promotion i forgot to read if it was like a bestseller or not but he's like super stressed out so why don't you come here to the park too and get some fresh air mal and elia have actually gone out today they've gone out riding uh, they've just, you know, they haven't done it in a long time, so they're going out to get themselves some fresh air, and they've gone out riding, going to collect some stuff like they always do. Yeah, you're not friends with Oros, so why don't you chat it up with him just a little bit? Uh, let's friendly chat, just get to know him just some, you know? Trying to get to know as many people as we possibly can, especially with Jeremy, whose main focus is to be master his charisma skill. So we gotta make sure we can get there. So he's here at the park now, too, just to have some fun. Maybe you should, can we play, can we play the violin, maybe? Maybe? play for tips can i not perform a composition oh i can literally play like a specific thing is that how that works hold on i want to see what this is a medieval composition let's do the 10th ballad of henry the ninth like how does this work he's obviously gotten some more skill okay i can just play a specific song then all right that's interesting that's interesting indeed i didn't know that was a thing with the violin once you got so far with it but everybody's just gonna hang around here at the park for a bit they're gonna chat gonna have some fun with everybody and i'll let you guys know uh if and when anything interesting happens all right guys so the day is winding down to a close looks like elia just made it back home mostly everybody is watching yvette over here playing the guitar which has been fun but he's been trying to make some friends now he wants to be good friends with oros the knight so he is working on that look at that jeremy's just such a people person we all love jeremy okay he is such a people person it's amazing so he's just been chatting it up with oros he wants to throw a party you know what he probably would just throw parties just to ha be surrounded by his friends which Justine would absolutely love, mind you, because she would friggin' love the fact that they are, like, you know, having some fun and stuff, but 
This is what we've been doing for most of the day. And uh, she's been making some money, apparently, over there playing that guitar, too. So, not gonna complain at all. But Mel has been looking up stuff all day. He's on his last search thing. And he's found quite a bit of stuff. And Elia found a whole bunch of flowers and stuff. So, she's at home. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're good? Yeah, you're good. Everybody good? Everybody's good. How are you looking? Kind of have to pee. And so do you, so you're gonna have to stop playing in just a little bit here, but before we handle them, let's go back over here and see what Elia has found in terms of these flowers, because I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. $75, $10, um, $400, yes, $400, absolutely. Uh, this one is $800, mm-hmm, not complaining at all. $40 and $10 for all of these? $40 for all of these. Nice. I don't... Everybody gives everybody flowers in this game. I'm just going to sell them because I don't want them. She also... Whoa. What the... Wait, 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 wait. What's happening? Who's dying? What's going on? No! No, 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 no. Speed! What? Oh, my God. Oh, no. What is... No. Oh my god, Spade! Are you serious? Are you serious? No! Spade! No! No! My Spade! Oh no! <laughs> you guys! Why? I just think you're nowhere! I just do my baby spread! No! <laughs> it hurts every time! I need his gravestone. Mel has to run all the way home now because Spade just died! He died! I don't- oh my god. Oh my god! I know, Mel! It's like- I feel like it would have been like an accident on the road. Like maybe he tripped or something and like died while Mel was out. Oh my god, that's so sad. It just happened out of nowhere. No, Spade. Oh no. I know, he's so sad too. Oh my god, you guys, Spade. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the episode now. I'm sad. Oh my gosh. Why? Uh, it's so sad. And out of nowhere, I... Okay, I'm gonna get Mal home and we're gonna end the episode, guys. Now I'm sad. Alright, guys, so Mal has finally made it home. He ran all the way back home, of course, to tell the family how uh, the accident that happened on the road where Spade, you know, had a, a really bad, like, fall off of a hill side cliff or something. You know, he's an old horse. He's not as sure-footed as he used to be. And unfortunately... We lost Spade. It is a sad, somber night in the household. Everybody is sad. I'm sad. I'm going to miss Spade. He was a good horse, okay? We're going to have to put his um, gravestone right next to his father and mother, actually, who are buried in our crypts area over here, right over here near our horse statue, our little horse shrine. So you'll go right next to Zio and Rose, who was his parents. It's a sad, sad day, but that means it's time for us to start potentially working on getting new horses in the family uh there these two are gonna be bred up pretty soon i'm really sad we lost him in this way i didn't expect that at all i wasn't paying attention to how old he was i knew he was getting older but i was not paying attention to how old he was so sad 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 day but um he's gonna come in and eat everybody is gonna get themselves prepared for bed here um jeremy's cleaning up i think it's time for everybody to go to bed and i'm gonna end the episode here uh so we made new friends and we lost old friends. So it happens, tis the rotation of the world, tis the way of life. Um, it is a sad day though. So um, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, yeah, next episode, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick a baby name. Uh, like I mentioned before, I am pre-recording a lot of this. So if you give me new baby names, I likely will not see them. 
uh, until after the, I pick the baby names, but no big deal. There will be plenty more babies born in the world, and I will have them on the list for the next time. But I'm going to go ahead and pick the baby name because I don't know when she's going to have this baby, but she's getting pretty big there. I don't think it's going to be next episode, but I'm going to go ahead and pick anyway next episode just because because I'm unsure, and obviously I don't know when I'm unsure random crap happens like we lose Spade. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be sad about this for a long time, but we got a new family in Ulokia, so that's always a plus. Um, we're regaining our stockpile. I sold all the gifts that they got as wedding gifts because I forgot you get them, um, and I didn't want any of it. So I sold all the gifts they got as wedding gifts, and it got us up to 30-something thousand again, which is nice. And Mal has a nice haul of stuff, which we have not gone through. We'll go through it next episode, um, but he's got a ton of stuff in his inventory that we also have to go through. Elia has a couple more things that she has. And of course, they're going to continue painting and writing. And summer is coming to an end. Fall is going to become an end, meaning that it's going to be time to start gathering some firewood and also, um, you know, preparing for winter time and getting ready for that. Normally in the winter, they spend a lot of time doing skill building activities and just sort of like, you know, writing and painting and all the stuff that you can do indoors so that they're not out in the freezing cold all the time. So of course we're going to work on that. And then hopefully after the winter, maybe we'll have enough money to potentially bring in some new lots, whether they be community or even just more housing lots. I can always add empty houses that we just place and hopes that maybe other Sims will be moving around and separating from their households and creating new households that are all over the place. So I'll probably try to have a couple of those after the winter time is over. Just some smaller houses and other places where Sims can move. But I think this is a good place to end it here. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of The Sims 3 for the Realm Challenge here on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.